everyone right now just to close your eyes and, and think about a moment in your life where you had what I call a defining moment, where you had some kind of event. Maybe you met a person. Maybe it was a professor that said something to you that completely changed kind of the course of where you were heading into and the direction of your life. That you had an epiphany. That you had a, a paradigm shift. I want you to think of that moment. Now, for each and each each one in the room, it's something different, right? I'm going to share that moment, my moment, with you. So open up your eyes. And I want you to take a look at this. Is my collage of my defining moment. Back in 2009, I got a chance, a chance of a lifetime, to go out to Washington D.C. at a time where the world was changing. We had, for the first time in our, in our history, we had an African-American president. We had so much change happening in the Capitol at, at D.C., and I was there. I got a chance to be a part of the inauguration. I got a chance to step foot inside the Pentagon, go visit the White House, talk to my senators, my representatives, all this while at the same time getting an opportunity of a lifetime to work for a government agency, get paid, and get a chance to network with the top people of our, of our country. And this opportunity, this, this experience, I want to pass it on to you. I want to share it with you. Because I, I believe that if you're going to benefit from it, it's going to change your life. So listen to what I'm going to say. And more importantly, when you go home today, take some action. Apply for it. If it's something that interests you, and I believe it will, it, it's going to change your life. It's going to be a defining moment. Uh, in, the, in the course that your life takes. So as you can see, I got a chance to uh, meet Ileana Rosletti, she's one of the representatives for our, uh, for our area here. Got a chance to fight for a lot of the causes for college students. I got a chance to talk to her about the DREAM Act, talk to her about making the financial aid process a lot easier to apply to. I got a chance to just share with her some of the experiences that I had as a college student to make, to make change happen. These are the people that are voting on that legislation that are uh, debating in Congress things that potentially could affect you as a student. And I got a chance to do it firsthand, to be there. I got a chance to also do volunteer service, which is important. In any aspect of your life, you always want to make time to give back. So while I was there, I made it a point to, to get involved in the local community, to go to this high school in particular and we, we painted the high school. We, it, was, it was one of the oldest high schools. And they gave a lot of area. So it's a great overall professional development experience. It gave me the confidence now to, from that experience, that, to define my, my, my path and change it to when I got back to here to Miami, I had a lot more confidence. I had that, the networking uh, and professional development, but I also had a tremendous experience at my agency because it's not just an intern where you're out touching cotton for somebody or making photocopies or, or uh, doing administrative work, but they had you, you know, basically you, you design your role. So you took the initiative and you said, look, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to learn. They'll give you opportunities to make that happen. In my experience, I wanted to do more public speaking, I wanted to do more marketing. So I was in the HR department and I got a chance to pretty much run seminars put together a giant workshop where I was talking to people sometimes three times my age about different topics that I've been researching uh, that I then gathered and, and shared with them. So it was a great chance to kind of step out of your comfort zone and just expand your skills, expand your knowledge, and just get that practice. And if you mess up, that's fine. You know, they understand you're an intern. You're not, you, know, you're, you're not, uh, you don't have tons of experience, but guess what? Through those failures is how you develop and how you learn but when you're stepping out of that comfort zone, you never realize what you're really capable of. So that's an awesome I'll quick exercise that. I want everyone to stand up. Just to stand up. Okay. And we're going to pretend for a moment that all you guys are hot winter. You got into the program. And you, you, you were fortunate enough to be one of these uh, HNIP interns. Go ahead and just say you can sit down. Just sit down. You can sit down too. You can sit down. So if you guys were all interns, the one standing right now would have job offers from the government. They would already have a, a job. <laughs> they would already have a job waiting for them when they graduate. So just to kind of give you the visual impact, 70% of the Haku interns they get job offers. So they get asked, "Hey, I know you're graduating this semester. I know you're graduating next semester. Here's an offer waiting for you." So since you're not a Haku intern yet, you can grab a seat. Okay. But hopefully, hopefully you'll be, you will be part of the program.
And then on top of that, you get college credit. So, uh, like one class that I'm taking now is an internship class. So you could go up there uh, and do credits while you're doing while you're doing the program. And in my in my uh, in my experience, I actually went to a college up in DC. I went to Potomac College, and I finished up three classes while I was there. So not only did I get uh, the experience of the internship.